Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn or brains. So, what does that leave? I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? Leave it to me. It's an electro monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Blitz. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered.
Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. Such a brute! <laughs> Try not to enjoy this too much. Chain lightning can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Not the end.
What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the Statue of the Seven out. Dragon of the East. Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds... hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. should hopefully be back to normal. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animoculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues.
Taking me out?
cooking skills surpass that of good hunters? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down. I will make you better. Hey, there's a lady over there waiting to you. Let's go and see what she wants. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the... When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it, too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss.
Hard work is all there is to the craft. What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to- If there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. Committed to his work, Paimon will give him that. His temper isn't great, but leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need. Hard work is all there is.
It's a statue of the Seven! Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Blessings of the Seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animoculi. They can be fitted into the statue's eye. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animoculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animoculi and maybe you'll receive more blessings. 